When you have a grant of incentive stock options, ISOs, five tax rules to know to really maximize their special features. First, it's really the sale of the stock that triggers taxes. By taxes, I'm talking about either ordinary income taxes, capital gains taxes, some combination of them. Second, it's the holding period after exercise and after grant that really matters for the tax treatment. Third, when you've held those shares more than two years after grant and more than one year after exercise, the entire difference between your sales price and your exercise price is gonna be long-term capital gains, and that's taxed at a lower rate. Fourth, when you do exercise ISO stock and you hold it through the calendar year, the end of that year you exercised, that spreaded exercise between the market price on that date and the exercise price is gonna require you to add it to your AMT income calculation and you may trigger the AMT. Fifth, there's no tax withholding with ISOs and no Medicare or Social Security tax.